Hi guys, it's Crystal. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you guys how to remove unwanted vinyl with VLR. You can also use 100% acetone, just protect your surface. There's another YouTuber, I'm going to have a link down below that will show you how to do that. Today we're going to be using the VLR and we're going to remove an unwanted letter off that shirt and then on this one we're going to remove the tag so you can put your own logo. So if it's vinyl, you can remove it. You can also just apply vinyl or you could do sublimation on it. So what we're, we're going to do is take an old t-shirt a rag something put behind it just to protect my surface and then we're going to start putting some of this on there it doesn't take a whole lot we're just going to put some on the front be mindful if you have nail polish it can take it off that's why I removed mine it did do that so I know so I'm just going to put a little bit on the front and then I'm going to flip it around and get a little bit on the back and then the next thing that you want to do is start um, pulling this so all you're going to do is start stretching it just like this and it's what it's going to do is to um, help release the sticky from the t-shirt so just kind of pull on it a little bit and then what you're going to do is just let it set for a few seconds kind of get going and then you can start rubbing it off now what you're going to see me do as well is you can add some vlr on a rag and then rub off any remaining as well so you can also do that now, just so you guys know, any remaining like adhesive that you can kind of see there, not these big balls, those will come off, but like any smooth, once you apply heat to it, it just basically disappears. It flattens out and smooth, so you can't see it. But you can see how nice that VLR removed that, and it removes it like in seconds. I like to go back in with just a little bit more to take off that remaining adhesive I was talking about. Um, just kind of rub it in or whatever I need to do. But like I said, once I apply that heat, it just makes it smooth. But look how good that looks. So you just kind of let that dry. I'm going to heat up my Cricut Easy Press, the small one. This is perfect for logos. I'm going to get it on three. Take my little mini Easy Press and then a piece of butcher paper. And I've already printed this off with my sawgrass. And I'll have all of this stuff linked down below. So what you're going to do is take your logo here. And once again, you could apply vinyl to this. So you could cut that out with your Cricut as well. And then you're going to put your butcher paper. And then I'm just going to apply this on there. Make sure I cover everything and hold it down for approximately probably around 40 seconds or so. Then you simply just pick up your iron, remove your butcher paper and pick it up. And you can see how nice that came out. Obviously, you can see where the iron was, but that obviously will just come right out. Um, it looks super nice. So that's one way to create your own logo on T-shirts. All right, so let's move on to this one. So I accidentally misspelled my own child's name. I put the wrong letter in the middle. I have twins. OK, so I'm, I mixed their name. So what you're going to do is measure, recut it out, and then you're going to carefully apply the VLR to this. Now, be careful. You can see that it started to touch the other letter immediately I stopped it you could do this by adding a rag you'll see that in a minute but try not to do that so just carefully stick on top of your entire piece here um, and just go right over it now when you first get this make sure you only poke a pinhole that way it comes out very little like this um, and then after you get it saturated you can see it start to bubble up I just kind of daubed off and don't worry about it. as soon as you apply the heat to those like you daub that off really quick you're not even going to know that it touched it. So what you're going to do is stretch this out, same thing, and I'm being careful, not the whole entire design because I just need the letter. And then look at that. It just peels off. It's amazing. I was talking to Mr. Crafty Pants the other day and he brought it up with me and asked me if I had heard about VLR and I said I'd recently too. I mean, I knew that there was something out there to help remove vinyl, um, but I had never purchased this before. I never really needed, I really hadn't made that many mistakes. I either used like heat or something to kind of pull it back off, but I've never tried any sort of chemical. Um, once again, I did see another YouTuber. I'll have her linked below. Like I said, she does show the acetone, but if you are going to try that, I definitely would make sure that your workspace is protected because you know what happens when you pour acetone so that's what made me scared to try it I could obviously see it worked for her uh, but it wasn't something I kind of wanted to risk but definitely would be great for in a pinch but I'm thinking if you do try it she didn't show it that way I would use like a medicine dauber or something to make it come out real um, you know real easy I was hoping there was like a little um cap on top of it that you could poke a pinhole and barely do that but it wasn't when you take the lid off it's wide open so definitely be mindful for that if you're going to try the acetone um this stuff was not harsh the only thing on my fingernails like i said if it got on my nail polish it was coming off which was going on the t-shirt and that was not good luckily i was able to get it off but i was messing with a white t-shirt by the way guys so as you guys can see, I know I'm, I'm rambling here but as you guys can see here it's really coming off pretty easy this only really took a few minutes 
and all of this residue right here will come off. So what you're going to do, what you're going to see me do here in just a second, I'm going to take a rag and I'm going to add VLR to it and then really just kind of keep rubbing over that until I feel like I just can't get any more. And then I'll wipe away any remaining and then I'm going to take it over to the heat press and apply heat to it. So what I do is I cover it with butcher paper and then I apply heat to it for just a few seconds and it's going to smooth it out till you can't see it. Um, and then I'm ready to go. So you can see I'm just adding a little bit more on that adhesive, a little bit on the rag, and I'm just going to kind of rub it as much as I can without rubbing my shirt to death. And it's going to look like your shirt's kind of stretching out in that area, but don't worry because once you take it to your heat press, it's going to kind of dry it up and shrink it all back down to where it needs to be. So I'm going to just keep rubbing here until I can't no more and then take it over to the heat press like I said, and you'll see how smooth it is here in just a few seconds. I did like 25 t-shirts the other night taking off the labels and it was like in no time. So it really is nice. So if you guys work with t-shirts at all, definitely have this product on hand. It's worth it. It's 20 filled ounces. It's huge. It's going to last a long time. All right, as you can see here, I'm just testing to see what all is going to cover up with that remaining adhesive, um, clearing it one more time, making sure nothing's on the shirt, and now I'm going to go ahead and take it over to the press, and you're about to see, see how good it looks? And that is just for me taking it to the press. So you can lightly see where it was because of the adhesive, but it just smooths all that out. So don't worry about it. Um, and also, if you take it to the press and you heat it and you don't like it again, add some more VLR and rub it again. Um, just that easy. So I'm just going to get this right where it needs to go looks good and now i'm just using my little mini iron because i have it right here on camera i could have definitely just taken this over to my big heat press applied some um, butcher paper over it or a teflon sheet um, and pressed it again or i could use my bigger easy press or something but i already had this ready to go it was easier on camera so i just use my little mini easy press and it's also great too because you're not reapplying heat to the other letters so it is a great little mini iron just to have on hand so i'm just going over with this little one you know that you just need to consistently move it for you know a good 20 30 seconds then i'm going to let it completely cool down and peel it right up now the it's fixed and you can never tell that I made that big of a mistake so it looks really good so um, as you guys can see definitely check this stuff out get it on hand for your t-shirts because you never know when you're gonna make a mistake and you'll have it ready to go or you want to do your own labels whatever it is so I hope you guys enjoyed this I hope you found it helpful if you did please hit the like button down below and subscribe and I'll see you guys on the next one